I'm gonna show you how to take your titles from this to this. What is up guys, Tyler Casey here with Cinepax and we finally dropped a music video title pack. You guys have been asking for this from Cinepax since the beginning and we finally dropped it. Currently, it's only working in Photoshop, Premiere and After Effects. We plan to update it in the following week for Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, so it's coming soon. If you guys wanna be up to date when that drops, make sure to follow us on Instagram or subscribe to our email list and we'll email you when that is up to date. To create this pack, we actually collabed with a graphic design artist, Nick Rodart. We wanted to make this pack as customizable and easy to use as possible. So I'm gonna hop into Premiere. I'm gonna show you how to install all the fonts. Once you get the pack downloaded, this is what it's gonna come with. Uh, so we have the style preview right here, and this is super useful because you can just take a quick preview and figure out which style you're going for and which one you want to use. Um, so here's all the styles right here. We have bonus styles. All right, so we have the previews right there, which are super helpful. We have Photoshop and then we have Premiere right here. And then what we want to do is we want to open up this PDF here. And then, so basically, these are all the free fonts. We got them from defont.com. If you want to use them for commercial use on big projects, you have to get licensing for those. So look into that. But if you're just using these for personal projects, you're good to go. So what I would do, I would just hold control and I would open up all these different fonts and get them all downloaded onto my computer. Download, simply just hit download right here and then save them to wherever you want. To install the font, you could just hit uh, Command or Control A once you have them all there and then just double click and hit install right there. As simple as that, then once you open up Premiere or Photoshop, you're gonna have all those fonts installed. As you can see, they just want credit if the font is used. Each font is different on their commercial use. We use the font because this is the best way to get as many different fonts and have as creative looking titles as you want. So as you can see, these are all the Mogart files. So there's pretty much two ways to do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you both and you can pick which one works best for you. First way is we're gonna wanna go into, open up a new file explorer and we're gonna wanna go to program files. We're gonna go to Adobe. We're gonna go to Adobe Premiere Pro. And then we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to Essential Graphics. And then we're gonna go to titles. And you could select all these Mogarts and drag these directly into titles, which totally works. That can work for you. Um, but the other way you can do it is I'm actually gonna rename this right here instead of Premiere Pro. I'm gonna name this uh, Cinepax Title Effects, right? So then now what we're gonna do is I'm going to come over to this and I'm going to click Manage Additional Folders. So what you can actually do is you can click add and then we're gonna find where our folder is. So I'm gonna go to, so now I'm gonna click Cinepax title effects and I'm gonna click select folder. I'm gonna click okay. Now if I go to local and I hit the drop down menu and I go to Cinepax title effects, we have that specific pack right there. So if you have different packs from different companies, you can keep it nice and organized and you can find the ones that you want. I personally like this way because then you could put it and you don't have to put it in your C drive. And especially if you update it, I like this way better, but both can work. Cool, so we have some simple footage right here and I'm just gonna drag some titles over and show you how easy it is to edit these. Um, so first let's try, let's try this Gothic style right here. And so there's a few ways to change the color and do all this. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks. So we, one thing we wanna do is keep this really organized. So you can see in here, if I turn this off, that turns off the artist. This turns off the director credit. So if you don't want any of these, like let's say you didn't want this text at the bottom, you can easily just turn off the eyeball and it's completely off. As well as the graphical elements, you can turn these off if you don't want that box. If we wanted to change the color of, let's say we wanted to change the color of everything but the box. So I would click into here, I'd hold control and I would click all the text elements. I'm gonna go to fill and I can change it to red. I can see what looks good or I can use the eyedrop tool. I can find, let's maybe something like right there. This is a kind of a good way to like make your, your footage kind of match the tone and vibe of your scene. Um, we could go orange there and then maybe on this graphical element on the frame, maybe, uh, so we'd have to select stroke right there since it's a stroke. Um, we can use the eyedrop tool again. We could go with the blue, make it a little bit brighter or we can make it darker. And just like that, we have a new title. 
So that's how easy it is to use the titles. Uh, let's just say you wanna change the color of everything to a certain color really quickly. Um, and obviously you can change the text on all these. You just hit T on your keyboard and you start typing. So um, Cinepax, artist name, two chains directed by uh, Cole Bennett. May spell his name wrong there. And then let's say we wanna change the color easy peasy we're gonna go tent we're gonna drag this on right up top and we'll change white to you can't go wrong with the dark red title um so one cool thing that you can do so if you don't have you can add all the plugins you want to this i'm gonna do that a little bit later i'm gonna use all my fancy plugins and show you some cool stuff one easy way to get a simple glow is basically this so what we want to do is we want to duplicate we're going to create a nest and then what we're gonna do is we're going to add a Gaussian blur. And then we are going to, let's put the blur to like 25 for now. And then let's change that blending mode to screen. And let's just play with the blur. So if you did a directional blur, let's see what that looks like. Turn that off. You can get a little more of like a streaky look if you like that. And you can change the direction of it. That's super cool. That's just all stock. There's no extra plugins. Uh, if you have Sapphire or Red Giant Universe, all that can work and you can really customize these. But even alone, they looked really good. And obviously you can play with the scale of these. You can scale them down. You can move them however you like if you just want the title here. Um, you can animate them. They're super easy to use. Just plug and play. And like before, uh, let's put a new clip down here. I'll do one more real quick. So artist name, let's just put my name. It's already set to all caps for you right there. Um, and let's change this title to, so you can individually change the color of everything if you want. You can see even just using the eyedrop tool is kind of a cheat code in itself because you can definitely match the vibe of your scene. So for the graphical elements, let's say we wanted all these the same color. I would come to fill and let's make those like a contrasty kind of green here like that a little bit lighter so we got like some neutral tones going here and then these are the credits and i would probably do the directed by as well so i click there select these and i'll probably just make it the same color as this click that right there and if you need to move it around, super easy. You can place it wherever you'd like, bottom left, bottom right. Lastly, let's play around with some plugins. So some of my personal favorite plugins, obviously you can't go wrong with Glow and Flickr. So let's say I put Tint on this. Uh, digital style, let's go for something a little retro. Let's go like a, a green. Let's throw a Glow on here. And then let's throw a flicker. I think we could have went with a brighter green, so I'll make sure to do that. Let's make that green a little more neon. And let's let's play that. So you can see already just with two plugins, super simple, didn't even adjust any settings and it looks amazing. Another cool, another cool plugin is Texture Flux from Sapphire. You kind of see it kind of has like this moody look and I didn't really even play with anything as well. So pretty much everything that you know from titles beforehand, how to make your titles look cool, you can apply to this. This will save you a lot of time in the design element. So you can kind of just start with something and then make it your own. So you can see this already has a really cool look and you can go and you could go pretty far with that. If you guys enjoyed this pack, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what other title packs you guys want to see. We had a lot of we had a lot of fun making this one, and we definitely have plans for some more in the future. Like I said, Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve may already be out by the time you're watching this, so make sure to go get that if it'll be listed on the website if it is compatible with everything. We're trying our best. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.